933 is your time when it comes to summer camp. You've got some kids who pack their bags six months ago. They're ready to go. They get out of here. Others not quite so excited about it. So how do you know whether your child is ready for a sleepaway camp? The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here with some advice for parents. And Good I was morning. to pack your bag ready to get up out Were of here. You're gunning get, oh, it uh, without the front go. door. Yes. Yeah, I was the other child. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, Karen, you know, that it really depends a lot on the individual child and what's going on and the family dynamics. Uh, and sometimes parents just have to make a judgment call. Packing up for summer camp is a ritual for many Georgia kids, but how do you know if your little one is really ready? Grady's chief psychologist, Dr. Nadine Caslow, says it really depends on the child. Some kids are sort of like, bye, see you later. And in that case, you just want to stay connected to them. And other kids get really anxious and they get really scared. Kessler says some parents push a little too hard and others not hard enough. So you really have to make a judgment call. One of the things that happens is when your child is really scared or anxious is you have to decide, is this the time to really push them so that they take that next step? Or do you need to listen to that and say, my child's not ready? Kessler recommends that kids have several sleepovers before they try a sleepaway camp. And she says you want to find a camp that really matches your child's personality and interests. And when it's time to go, it's okay to be emotional to a certain point. Actually, I encourage you to let your child know that you're going to miss them, that you love them, but your child's not there to take care of your feelings. Your child should not be your therapist, and they should not be the one whose lives get stopped because you're not ready for them to move forward. And while your child's hey, away up, at guys? camp, stay in contact hey, as much job? as you can, send care packages, and try to go on visitor's day. And if they call you and say, sound really distraught or contact you and sound really distraught, you may want to encourage them to hang in there for a little bit, but if they're not getting better, sometimes you do just need to bring them home. And Dr. Caslow says if the camp will allow you to write or call or even Skype or FaceTime with your child, take advantage of that. And on Thursday, we're going to be talking about camp safety and some of the questions that parents and caregivers really need to be asking their child's camp director before the child heads off to camp. Karen? You know, I remember clearly being traumatized at the drop-off point, the screaming, yeah. the kicking, and that was the parents. <laughs> it was... <laughs> It, no, it yes. was an emotional scene. Either the parents yeah. were crying or the child was crying. It was tough. How do you handle that? I think that? that you just be careful as a parent not to project your feelings onto your child. So don't make it too dramatic. Try to make a sort of a clean drop off and get out of there because I think kids tend to do a lot better when they get distracted and camp mm -hmm. life begins and there's all the excitement, you know, and they're not like worried about you, yeah. mom and dad. Now, speaking of being worried, we know kids sometimes get homesick. That, yeah. that, that's a fact. But when do you know it's something a little more serious and you really need to go back and, and take your child. Out. So if you're getting repeated phone calls from the child at camp, I would definitely, you know, the first few times really be supportive, hear the child out, talk to them about possible coping strategies and how they could stay. But if it doesn't stop and the child really profoundly seems unhappy with the camp experience, it's probably not a good thing, you know, to leave the child there. I'd go get the child and bring them home. Even though it's fun, it's just not for everyone. We know that. It's not. So you've got to be it's able not. to judge that. All right. Yes. Beth, thank you for that. Well, good day. Atlanta's Gravir Denza is back now, standing by with more of the morning's top stories. Gravir, good morning. Good morning to both of you. The Georgia State Patrol.